Austria. What a race here at Spa Francorchamps. We got underway just about on time, but then Manuel Maldonado trying an heroic move. Had it come off, he would have gained about four places, but it didn't because he slammed into three other cars in the process, and that would finish the race for, or would certainly finish uh, any chances of a good victory for the the 28 EDEX Sport car of Paul Lafargue for the 30 Ren uh, René Binder driven Duquesne car and Marina Sato spun into the gravel trap as well. He would then get a bump start from Jacques Wolf. There was this side by side moment between Duncan Cameron and Michael Fassbender, and sadly, the amount of damage done then to the 93 Porsche for the Irish. German Hollywood film star would put that car out of the race even though Martin Rock was able to do a few laps in it. Martin Berry, a mistake at the top of the hill at Radion, doing too much damage to the JMW Motorsport 66 Ferrari and that would bring out yet another safety car whilst it was recovered. There were five safety cars accounting for about an hour and a half's worth of a four-hour race here at Spa so always difficult to know in which direction to go next from a strategic point of view level pegging many different classes of car at one of our many restarts today and this was a real delicate part of the race for the quicker cars to pick their way through Alessio uh, Rivera just tagging the rear of the 43 car on the approach to Le Combe corner and plucking out a couple of the dive planes off the, after the back of the contact with Ollie Caldwell's 43 into Europol competition car. A superb overtake from Pan Pablo Montoya around the outside of Blanchimont corner. But then this from Glenn von Berlo, he dropped a tyre into the gravel at Campus corner, huge off, doing untold damage to the rear of that car and almost pitching it onto its roof. So we would go safety car again for the attempted repair of that Armco barrier. Eventually a stack of tyres was put in front of it to save a bit of time and ensure there was still some racing action for all of these cars. Nicky Team would be installed into the Aston Martin. His stint went OK. However, when Gustav Birk took over from his fellow Dane, that was the outlap on cold tyres and big damage to the back of the number 44 GMB Motorsport Aston Martin. Onward we would go in amongst the full course yellows and the safety cars. And this was a huge off for initially Ben Hanley into the curved Paul Frere gravel trap. Virtually three of the four corners obliterated on car 24 from Nielsen Racing. And then in a almost carbon copy moment for Jonathan Aberdeen this time, the 43 car losing it uh, on the exit of campus corner and into the gravel trap, nosing into the tyre barrier. And again, that would need to be extracted under a safety car. Yet another restart. One car would peel off into the pit lane here, desperately short on fuel to leave the 47 car out front for cool racing of Richard de Guerres. But that and the 81 Dragon Speed car had to eventually blink and take more fuel, otherwise they would have run out of uh, the crucial fluid partway round the spa Francorchamps lap. It's a win then instead for Alex Lynn for Algarve Pro Racing and together with his teammates Kiffin Simpson and James Allen, they really did preempt the strategy to perfection. Victory for Algarve Pro, for Cool Racing in Pro-Am and LMP3 and for Proton in GT. They've been trackside uh, this weekend, I'm absolutely sure. There is the end result, 88 laps completed, and it's the win for the 25 Algarve Pro Racing. 1.8 seconds ahead of the winner in LMP2 Pro-Am, the 37 from Kill Racing, 83's AF Corsa, and 34 from Racing Team Turkey complete the LMP2 Pro-Am uh, podium with a 65 Palace Racing and 47 Cool Racing cars, 8th and 9th and completing the LMP2 podium. 17 Cool Racing, Ligier wins LMP3 ahead of the 13 from inter Europol competition and the 11 Euro International, it's at Ligier 1, 2, 3 in LMP3. It is the 16 and the 60 Porsches from Proton, Proton competition at 9 links at the 50 Formula Racing Ferrari. That is your 1, 2, 3 in the final ever GTE race here at Spa Francorchamps. Two more to go in Europe, both at Portimao, one to go in Bahrain to complete uh, a, what a fantastic 12-year history this class has actually had. Uh, that was um, one of the most attritional races we've had in the European Le Mans series. For